Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Graciela. Daniela oh. Orellana. Welcome, Daniela. Okay, and Gabriela, welcome, Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela, welcome. Hello, hello. Okay, Maritza, hello, Maritza. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Let's wait for the others. Le vamos a dar tiempito a los otros. Welcome, Sarita. Welcome, Iris. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again, Iris. It's a pleasure. Okay, we're going to start in a minute, right? In one minute. Uh, remember, today we can work in any any point in the platform that you have problems. Podemos trabajar esta noche en algunos puntos en que tengan problemas en la plataforma, right? Uh, teacher, yo eh, ya permítame. You you finish. Terminó ya. It is? Yes, I finished, uh, but uh, el examen final, uh -huh. siento como que fuese el de la, de la anterior. Oh, ok. O sea, el, no el, sé el, si... El sí, sí los, algunos temas coinciden, pero uh, me parece que la estructura de las preguntas es diferente. Es ah, porque de igual tampoco es que tenga el, el anterior así tan exacto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero, este, por ejemplo, el de las horas, eh, estaba ahí una parte de las horas, uh -huh. de, de decir las horas, y eso no está en este, en este módulo, uh -huh. sino que en el anterior, pero igual no sé si será mi, que, que, que como usted dice, tiene tal vez mucha relación y... Y yo lo familiaricé bastante, no sé. En el final test aparece la, la, el tema de las horas, Iris. Sí. sí. Ok. Uh -huh. Bueno, uh, quizá me imagino yo lo que hacen es como recolectar algunos temas pasados y reunirlos en un solo examen, pues, ¿verdad? Pero uh, al fondo yo lo veo como una ventaja, porque ya son temas que ya dominamos, ¿verdad? Entonces... Es para sacarse un 10. Sí, sí, no, okay. sí, exacto. La verdad es que, que, que no, no se me dificultó. Mm. Solo que yo dije, bueno, ¿será que yo lo estoy, no sé, sentí como que era lo, lo mismo? Lo, sí, lo mismo. Es, Ajá. es que yo lo estoy honesto. No, yo no, no, no me puedo los temas del básico 1, así que este, ahí como que le quedaría de ver, ¿verdad? Pero sí he estado viendo los temas que se repiten en el examen final, ¿verdad? Pero... Esa es mi percepción, pues, de que ellos lo que quieren es recolectar los temas para que todo quede claro. Incluso en, en un examen de, de, de nivelación le hacen de todo, ¿verdad? Es una recolección de temas. Ajá, Graciela, tell me, please. A mí me pasó lo que dice Iris. Y de hecho, fíjese de que en algunas de las secciones, cuando yo empezaba a escribir la, la respuesta, ya me la daba. Como ya, que yo ya lo había hecho. Ya lo yo tenía. No lo había, lo <risa> ya lo tenía predestinado. <risa> ok. Sí, bueno. o sea, yo, como que era el mismo del, del, del módulo 1, del final. Quiere Me decir que. Quiere decir que tenemos un 10 redondo ahí, Graciela. <risa> that's nice, Humildemente, right? Evidentemente sí. La verdad <risa> que sí fue así, porque está muy fácil. Ok, that's it. That's the idea, right? Bueno, entonces. 
me agrada saberlo porque eh, ya veo que dominan varios temas, así es que, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a comenzar entonces la clase. Eh, solo veo acá, no sé, es Daniela Orellana, ¿me escucha Daniela Orellana? Hello. Ok. Eh, sí, sí, la veo. Ah, vaya, vale, ok. Este, lo que pasa es que no, no tengo registrado su nombre en el listado. ¿Verdad que no había estado en las últimas clases conmigo, Daniela? Solo, eh, solo como en solo como unas tres, porque tuve problemas con mi celular y hasta hace poco me lo arreglaron. Ok, entonces la vamos a anotar ahorita, permítanme, Daniela Orellana. Ok. Good. Now let's begin with the class. We're going to start with the platform, making a review, review, repaso. Ok, let me share the, my screen with you. Ok. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Carlos, right? Um, yes, teacher. Eh, la vez pasada no le di, no le di participación, ¿verdad, Carlos? Hasta después me di cuenta, sorry. Pero hoy sí, lo vamos a no, no, tomar problem. en cuenta. <laughs> ok, now. Eh, let's, let's make a review of the video, right? Of the of yesterday. Pay attention, hey, please. So, are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Okay, give me a second. Aquí estamos, ¿verdad? No, it, this is not the topic. Uh, ok, aquí estamos. Este es el video que queremos ver. Sorry. Módulo 3 está bien. Yeah, yeah. Class, you learn how to Sorry. ask and answer simple present WH questions. Okay. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Pay attention in the use of these questions. What sports do you like? When do you play all these sports? Remember, we have four uh, parts in, in, in the information question or uh, WH question. What do you like? What is the information word? Sport is a complement, right? And do is the auxiliary. You is the subject and like is the verb, right? The same happen here in this question. When do you play all these sports? When is the WH word that refers to time? The auxiliary do, the subject you, and the verb play, right? Okay, let's continue watching sports. the video. Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports? Who, where, how often, when, what time. 
In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's Okay. Listen. So in this case, uh do you do you hear the person saying that what we want to do is to obtain information? Making this question, we are obtaining information about what we want to know, right? Información de lo que queremos saber. For example, when I say what, it's about something. It's abstract or concrete, right? Algo concreto o abstracto. Algo, right? It could be, for example, what house, que casa, or what, what's your name? So in, in this case, w, what refers to something abstract or concrete, right? Who is about a person? Queremos saber algo de una persona. Con quién jugaste? Who do you play with? Where? Donde? How often? Con qué frecuencia? When? Cuando? And what time? And notice the way we answer this. For example, when I say what sports, hockey, and baseball, no es algo que podamos tocar, pero es algo. Es un algo. So it's what? Who? Some friends, some amigos. Some friends. Where? Hunter Park. No menciona un lugar, ¿verdad? How often? Once or twice a week. Una vez o dos veces a la semana. So in this case, it's talking about frequency. When? Sundays. We talk about time, right? And what time? 10 o'clock. So you have to understand what is the question to give the specific information. Okay? For example, if I say when, si me preguntan when, voy a decir in the park, right? Or oh, when, uh, my brother. No, no. So you have to know what is the meaning of each WH word. Sorry, WH word, right? Tenemos que saber el significado de cada una de las eh, palabras que llevan WH, right? O information question, right? Ahí está la clave. Si sabemos esto, vamos a saber qué responder en todas las preguntas. Okay? Okay. Uh, do you have any question about one of these words? Ayer se las mostré en el, en el, en el PowerPoint presentation. Pero, uh, ¿todavía hay alguna duda de, de alguna de estas palabras? ¿Qué quiere decir cada una de estas WH words? ¿Mm? ¿Questions? No. No. Ok, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, and we divide the mainly four parts in the question. Principalmente, hay cuatro partes en este en este tipo de preguntas. WH word, la palabra que nos indica cómo, dónde, cuándo, por qué, a quién, etcétera, etcétera. The auxiliary for the simple, uh, auxiliary for the simple present that in this case is do and does. The subject that it could be he, she, they, Pedro, Maria, Juan, my friends, my father and I, etcétera, etcétera, right? The verb, right? And the complement, well, you know, sometimes it has complement, sometimes not, but The four principal parts are WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. Estas son las cuatro partes principales. ¿Ok? A excepción de algunas donde usamos who, esta no, este no es el caso, pero cuando usamos who de sujeto, eh, es la única excepción, pero de ahí todas, todas las preguntas de information question o WH question llevan estas cuatro partes. ¿Ok? Let's analyze okay. a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? 
It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present after or does plus. Okay, let me explain this situation, right? Why uh, sometimes we use a preposition at the at the end, right? So it's it's a special characteristic of English, right? Uh, if you translate, you can say con qui, uh, uh, Quien juega baseball con? <laughs> so it's a strain, right? Because con, with, it's at the end. Also, you can, you can use another preposition, about. It's another common preposition we use at the end. For example, I can say, what do you talk about? Hmm? So the preposition is at the end. And uh, the original uh, sentence or the original question, I'm sorry, is this one with whom do you play baseball? Right? Th this is correct and formal, but the most common way to use this question is, is like this, right? Es más común usarlo con la preposición al final que en esta forma, whom. Okay, okay, o podemos usar la otra about, about what do you talk. Podemos decirlo así, about what do you talk? Acerca de, acerca de qué tú hablas? With the preposition at the beginning, right? But I repeat, this way is more, more common. Right? Esta forma es más común. Y es correcta también. Que ambas son correctas. Both are correct. Okay? Good. So, and now we're going to see the, the commentaries. Vamos a ver quiénes comentaron. Vamos a ver. Okay. Let me see. Here, right. Okay. Vamos a agrandar acá. Maximize. Okay. Flor. I like that Flor all the time make commentaries. Flor siempre está ahí presente en la plataforma. Thank you. What sports do you play? I play soccer. Who do you play soccer? Okay, we can say with, right? Who do you play soccer with? Aquí sería agregarle la palabra with, right? La preposición with. And then I play with my friends. Sulma Hernandez. No, so we have Suleima, right? Gloria Escalante, okay. Who do you play basketball with? Uh, Gloria, aquí nos faltó algo, ¿verdad? Algo chiquitito. No está Gloria con nosotros ahora, pero uh, nos faltó. Vamos a ver, ¿quién me ayuda? Who, who can help yes, me? Yes, teacher, aquí estoy. Ahí, ahí está ya, Gloria, sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Gloria Escalante, es que no le hemos tomado la asistencia, Gloria. Ok. Who do you play basketball with? Solo le hizo falta una letrita. ¿Cuál es, Gloria? Um, Z. The letter H, right? Letter H, with. W ah, okay. H R T H, yes. with. H, uh -huh. yes. Y uh, veamos, veamos acá, with. Es que la, la H me la puso al principio, ¿verdad? Y debe ir al final, ¿sí? Ok, but the yes. sentence is good. The sentence is perfect, right? Thank you. Eh, vamos a ver por acá. 
Vamos a ver esta. What sports do you play? I play soccer and baseball. Who do you play soccer and baseball with? No, that's okay. Uh, Daniela. Daniela Orellana. Okay, Daniela. What is your favorite sport? My favorite sport, uh, aquí parece que se nos fue una letrita, ¿verdad, Daniela? Daniela, hello. Ok, pero aquí no, se nos... aquí, quizás. ¿Cómo no? Se acaba de estarme contestando, Daniela, quizás ah, no me está escuchando eh, ahorita. No <laughs> Ok, Daniela, eh, the letter E, right? La letra E se nos fue acá. My favorite sport is football. Ok, that's ok. Let me see. Roberto Quijano. What, what do you cook this day? Mm -hmm. I'm cooking a roast chicken. Ok, notice that the, the question is in simple present, right? Roberto aquí nos contestó usando el presente continuo, pero está correcto. Ok. Uh, porque el inglés no solo es de solo presente o solo presente continuo, sino que por lógica a veces... Eh, podemos utilizar otra estructura, ¿verdad? Pero la oración está correcta. What do you cook? What do you cook? That's okay. Xiomara, very good. Let me see. Who do you play best basketball with? I play with my friends. Who does he play soccer with? He plays. Excelente, Xiomara. Aquí me puso la S. Veo que ya estamos dominando el uso de los verbos en tercera persona, ¿verdad? Ok, Noemí. No, Alonso, Sibache. Ok, ahí terminamos. Uh, no sé si Graciela, Gabriela, Delmi, Cori, eh, uh, Christopher, Brian, me comentaron aquí o lo van a hacer más tarde, me imagino, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, <laughs> okay. yes ya comentamos. Ah, ya está. Yo no le pongo nombre. Ah, ok. Entonces aquí dice next. Debe haber más entonces. Vamos a ver. Next. No le pone nombre. Ah, no. Entonces no, no era ese. Sorry. Pues no era ese. Ok. Ya, ya, no, ya nos perdimos. Aquí estamos. Ok. Vamos a ver. Sí, aquí hay más. Tienen razón. Ok. Algunos no le pueden. Aquí está, de Gabriel Hernández, ¿verdad? Yes. What, what sports do you play in the winter? I play basketball and ice skating. Ok. Uh, vamos a ver. Si sí, hasta ahí llega. Ya no hay más. ¿eh? <ríe> Love more, dice, carga más. Pues espero que esta noche o mañana pues carguemos más comentarios. Ok. Good. So now we're going to go and check the, the knowledge check, right? Together. Question. Did all of you finish? ¿Terminaron todos el knowledge check? Yes, 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 I did. Yes, yes, teacher. ¿Podemos dar la respuesta sin hacer trampa? Yes. Yes. Good. Okay, good, good. Let's go to number one. But you're going to help me, right? Uh, we're going to start with Beatriz Galdames. Beatriz, he says, complete the, uh, the conversation with the correct WH question word. So pay attention here. Uh, I watch sport, blah, 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 really, soccer is my favorite. And then he says, what refers to thin, cosas, right? When refers to time. Who refers to people, where refers to places, and how refers to, to uh, manner, right? The manera, forma. So when I say, do you usually watch soccer? Do you usually watch soccer? Ok. Uh, usualmente, esto como que se refiere a tiempo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta correcta si estamos hablando de usually? Mm -hmm. What, when, who, where, or how? Beatriz, ¿cuál when, sería? When. Perdón. Ajá. ¿Quién, me está ¿Quién, le está echando la, ¿Quién le está echando la camita a Beatriz? Come on. Ajá, Beatriz, ¿cuál sería ahí? Yo pienso que buen también. Buen. Ah, ok. Vaya. Entonces, seleccioné buen. Pero gracias por la respuesta. No, no, no se deje influenciar. Buen, por... right? Vamos a ver después si está bien. 
on Sunday afternoons. On Sunday afternoon, is this right? Ah, ok, yes. Aquí no está dando la respuesta. Si no está bien, va a ser culpa de él. ¿De quién? ¿De Roberto o de Carlos? ¿De quién? Del que me la sopló. No, bro. <risa> ok. Nos habla de tiempo, de Sunday afternoons. Ya casi como que le pongo un 10 ahí, Beatriz. Ok. Then, uh, Brian, please. He says, yes. What is the correct option? What, when, who, where, or how? The answer is no, at my friend's house. ¿Qué sería una casa? ¿Sería, sería un lugar? ¿Sería tiempo? Un lugar. Un lugar. Un lugar. Sí, where. Where. Vale, ok. No, que la, ya se equivocó. La respuesta de Brian, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver si es cierto. <risa> ok, este es un video, entiendo yo. O solo es una, sí. un dibujo. Ok, es un dibujo. Ok. And then often do you go bar about once a month, una vez a la semana. Vamos a ver, eh, Carlos. Hi, teacher. What, what is the correct? What, when, who, where, or how? Um, um, who. Who. Who often? Who. Yeah. Okay. yeah, teacher. Okay, vamos oh. a ver. About once a, a month. Esto debería ser una persona, ¿verdad, Carlos? How? No, teacher, uh, um, es uh -huh. how, 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 right? Yeah, yes, teacher, how. How, right? How often? How often do you go? <laughs> okay. Do you go by your room? A second opportunity to you, right? Okay, now, okay. Uh, <laughs> Christopher Sanchez. He says, I love to go bike riding, Christopher. I go every Sunday. Really? Do you go? And then he says, usually about one o'clock. One o'clock. So what is the correct one? It's when. 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 Okay. Me parece apropiada, pero vamos a ver si es cierto, si se equivocó o no. And then, oh yeah. Says, Do you usually go with? Vamos a ver. My sister. ¿Qué es my sister? Es una cosa, es una persona, es un lugar. Y nos va a contestar Cori. Ajá, Cori. Yes. Who? 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 Ok. Vamos a ver. Submit. Yeah. Ok, excelente. Ahí. ahí nos está diciendo Firulais que no nos equivocamos. Miren. Perfect, right? Good, excellent. Now we can start with the class, right? Any extra question? ¿Hay algún punto en el que le gustaría a ustedes trabajar que todavía no les queda claro? Recuerden que tenemos hasta el viernes a la medianoche para terminar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Yes? No. Ok, let's continue, right? Let's continue. Now we're going to share the PowerPoint presentation. Sorry. Okay, today we have the topic pronunciation can and can't. Can for ability and com the conversation, I can sing very well. Okay, now, the lesson objective for today, let me see, uh, Delmi, please, can you read the, the lesson objective for today, Delmi? Delmi, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Okay, can, can you read the, the objective for today, please? Okay. By the end of the class, you will le learn how to ask an answer question. An, an answer, an answer. Mm -hmm. An answer question. Using can for ability. Ab así me Ab cuesta. Ability. <laughs> Ab ability, okay. Habilidad, right? Ability. Thank you. Thank you okay. very much. Now, next, let's go to the vocabulary today. Talent show, play the piano, sing, act, star, right? 
So these are the words for today. Now, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Talent show. Play the piano. Sing. Act. Start. Good. Now, do you have any question about the vocabulary? Any question? Yes, teacher. What Tell do you me. mean start? Huh? Star is a famous person. Well, it's, it's uh, like the sun, right? Oh, okay. Like the sun is a star. The sun is a star, right? It's, yeah. uh, it's a planet that has proper energy, right? But in this case, uh, we're talking about famous person. For example, Kenu Reeves is mm. a star, right? Ah, Kenu, okay. Kenu Reeves is a star. Also, Shakira mm. is a star, right? Okay. Uh, Chimbombin is a star too, right? In El Salvador, right? It's a famous person. Okay. It's, a, it's a famous person. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, let's go to the next part. Okay, uh, wait, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, can you hear me? Hello, hello? Yes, 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 yes. No, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you, thank you very much. Es que por un momento pensé que estaba solito. Okay. Now, please. Uh, can and can for ability. To talk about ability, use can or can in the base form of a verb, la forma base del verbo, right? For example, I can say, she can play the guitar, look. Playing the guitar is an ability she has, right? He can't cook, right? He's a bad chef. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is affirmative and this is negative. Notice that we have the, the modal can and the, the base form of the verb, in this case, play, right? Notice that you don't say, she can place. No. She can place, no, right? She can play. And then, he can cook. Again, we don't say cooks, right? Just cook. Then, how to make questions with can. Can you play the guitar? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can he speak English? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Okay, use can or can with well to indicate degree of ability, right? Usamos el adjetivo well para referirnos, <coughs> I'm sorry, a, a algo que alguien hace muy, pero muy bien. ¿no? Elevamos la, la habilidad, right? For example, uh, we can say, she can play the guitar. But she can play well, right? But no, no, no toca muy bien, right? Or the opposite. Mm -hmm. We say, I can, I can play the guitar well. Also can say, I can play soccer well, right? Uh, the teacher can play soccer well. <laughs> okay? Now, and we have the, the negative form. Look, can't equal to say cannot. Also, you can say it this way, right? También se puede escribir de esta forma, cannot. Okay? Contraction. Here, contraction here, right? Okay. And sometimes when they speak English, they, sometimes it's difficult for, for we to recognize the difference between affirmative and negative, right? So I will give you the clue. Le voy a dar la pista para que ustedes identifiquen. Si están hablando de algo positivo, o de algo negativo. Después vamos a hacer un ejercicio para ver si lo entendieron, ¿ok? Now, I, I have the subject, the model, and the verb. So we say, she can play the guitar. Play the guitar. So we give rising intonation in play. Le vamos a dar el, la fuerza de voz, o lo, como se dice en inglés, the stress. The stress se lo vamos a poner en el verbo, play. Okay, she can play the guitar. Cuando la oración es negativo, el estrés o la fuerza de voz se lo vamos a dar al modal, no al verbo. Vamos a decir, he can cook. He can cook. Okay. 
She can play the guitar. She can cook. Okay? Now repeat, please. She can play the guitar. She can play the guitar. He can cook. Okay? Now, let's continue. Okay. Let's continue with the topic, right? Now, listen to the vocabulary. Abilities. Read and listen. One. Sing. Two. Dance. Three. Play the guitar. Play the violin. Four. Swim. Five. Ski. Six. Cook. Seven. Sew. Eight. Knit. Nine. Draw. Ten. Paint. Eleven. Drive. Twelve. Fix things. Now listen again and repeat. Sing. Sing. Dance. Dance. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. Play the violin. Play the violin. Ski. Ski. Cook. Cook. So. So. Draw. Paint. Draw. Drive. Paint. Fix things. Breathe. Okay, now, and we have adverbs well and badly, right? Adverbs well and badly. Tom sings well. Canta super bien, right? Ryan sings badly. So, well refers to something that is really positive, right? And the, deg the degree is high. And badly, it's a degree of negative, right? Ne negativeness, right? Any question? Teacher, the number eight. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear the pronunciation. Knit. 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 Yeah. Thank you. This is so, so knit. So, sorry. Okay? We're going to listen again if you want. Listen again. Abilities. Read and listen. One. Sing. Two. Dance. Three. Play the guitar. Play the violin. Four. Swim. Five. Ski. Six. Cook. Seven. Sew. Eight. Knit. Nine. Draw. Ten. Paint. Eleven. Drive. Twelve. Fix things. Nah. Okay, so that's it, right? So, so, neat. Now we're going to make many exercises. Listen. Uh, to begin, I will ask you if I'm saying you, uh, if I'm telling you the, the sentence affirmative or negative, right? Remember the pronunciation. For example, sing. Affirmative is I can sing. Negative is I can sing. Right? So I will read some sentences or I will make some sentences and you tell me affirmative, negative, right? Let's start talking about um, drive, drive. Okay. Listen to the sentence. Uh, Erica, please. Can you help me, Erica? Yes. Okay. Good tell evening. me. Tell, good evening. Erica, you will tell me affirmative or negative, right? I will repeat the last time. Le voy a dar el ejemplo por última vez. Affirmative, I can sing. Negative, I can sing. Okay? Yes, okay. En, la, en el afirmativo, el verbo va la, el stress, o la fuerza de voz. Y en el negativo va en el modal. Okay? Ahora vamos okay. al drive. Drive, listen. 
I can drive. Affirmative or negative? It's negative. Correct. I can drive. Okay. Excellent. Now, uh, Flor, please. Cook. Cook. Okay, yes. listen. Listen. I can cook. Affirmative or negative? Affirmative. Correct. Very good, right? And now, Gabriela, sorry, Gabriela. Ready, Gabriela? Swim. Hello. Tell me, affirmative or negative? Swim, right? Pay attention. I can swim. Affirmative. Correct. And the last one, right? Uh, Gloria, please, Gloria Escalante. Yes, teacher. And number three, number three. Affirmative or negative? I can play the guitar. Affirmative. Listen again. I can play the guitar. I can. Negative. Negative, right? I can play the guitar. Very good. Now we're going to practice question, right? We're going to make a question and the person is going to say yes or no. Number one, for example, can you sing? And the person is going to say, the real life, oraciones correctas de la vida real, right? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Okay? Now, question number one. Eh, Graciela, you make the question to Iris Herrera. Usted me le va a hacer la pregunta a Iris Herrera. Number one, please. Iris, can, yes. you, can you cook? No, no, number one, sing, sing. Okay, sorry. Iris, can you sing? No, I can. Okay. <laughs> me, me either, right? Yo tampoco, pero no le cuento a nadie. Okay, now. Iris, <laughs> Iris, you make the question to Jennifer. Dance, number two. Dance. Okay. Uh, Perdón, ¿a quién me dijo? Jennifer. Jennifer, okay. <laughs> Jennifer, you can, can you can you? dance. Mm -mm. Can you? Okay. Can you dance? Uh, yes, I can. Okay, excellent. Cumbia, salsa, rock, de todo, ¿verdad, Jennifer? De todo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, Jennifer, you make the question to, uh, to Maria, please. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. Maria... Can you play the guitar? No, I can. Okay, thank you. Now, Maria, you made the question to Maritza. Swim. Swim. Maritza, can you swim? Maritza, no se escucha, Maritza. Hello, hello. Ok, entonces nos va a contestar Roberto. Roberto Quijano, please. Yes, I can. Very good. <laughs> Se cruza todo el lago de Ouija, el solito. Ok, now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> eh, Roberto, you made the question to Sara. Sarita, right? Eh, vamos a pasarnos a Cook, porque es que no, no creo que nadie de nosotros pueda. Cook. Sarita, can you cook? Yes, I can. Excuse me, she's a chef. <laughs> okay, Sarita. <laughs> Sarita, you made the question to Xiomara, right? So, number seven. Xiomara, can you sew? Can you sew? Can you sew? Yes, I can. Oh, excuse me, Xiomara. Okay. Now, Nit, uh, to Daniela Orellana, please. Daniela, can you knit? Daniela? Bueno, por ahí creo que quizá el micrófono le está fallando también a Daniela. So, please, eh, Beatriz, contéstele usted a, a Xiomara, please. No, But, I can't. Ah, oh, ok. Very good. Draw. Beatriz, you make the question to uh, Brian, please. Draw. 
can you draw? Yes, I can. Okay, very good. We have an artist. Thank you, Brian. Now, Brian, you made the question to Christopher Sanchez. Please paint. Christopher, you can, can you, or you can, can oh. you paint? Um, yes, I can. Okay, another artist. Tenemos artistas aquí, señores y señores. Now, uh, Christian, you made the question to uh, Cory. Christopher Sanchez, right? To Cory. Okay, es que dijo que dice. Sí, I'm sorry, es que siempre confundido los dos nombres, Chris. Cuando, cuando okay, diga yeah. Christian, diga otra vez, está equivocando el teacher. <laughs> okay, Chris, <laughs> okay, Christopher, you made the question to... Eh, es que tenemos los dos Christopher, ¿verdad? Perdón, que um, Christopher Cañas está ahora, ¿no, verdad? No, no, el, no el de no, aquí no. es Christian Pérez y Christopher Sánchez. Solamente, ¿no? Pero al principio tuvimos un chico que se llamaba Christopher mm -hmm. Cañas. Ah, no okay. me yeah, well, anyway, Christopher, uh, to Cory. Cory, can you drive? Yes, I can. Okie dokie. Ya ven que eso que dicen que las mujeres no pueden manejar, eso es mentira. <laughs> It's a lie, right? <laughs> mentira total. Cory, to tell me, please. Fix things. Reparar tell, cosas. Tell me, can you fix things? No, I can. Ooh. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me either, right? Me either. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> si se les quemo, si se les va un fusible, no vas a ver qué hacer, chicas. Okay, now. Abilities. <laughs> okay, now let's go to the to the practice, right? Now, uh, in this case, uh, we have one, two, and three. Let me see. Uh, Erika, you make the question to Flor. Number one. Erika, your letter A. And Flor, your letter B. Okay. Can you play the guitar? Or the guitar? Yes, I can. But I don't play well. Excellent. Very good. Number two, right? Gabriela Hernandez to Gloria Escalante, right? Gabriela, in number two, you are letter A. In, in Gloria, you are letter B. Okay. The pronunciation of the noun is when, right? Como when Paltrow, right? La que sale en, en Avengers. La esposa de, de Iron Man. Se llama when Paltrow. Okay, when is the pronunciation, please. When? No, no sé, la es verdad un, no sé. Es una chica, Gabriela, es una chica, como que diga, ¿Quién Gabriela swim? ¿Quién Gabriela play the guitar? Uh -huh. Ok, intentémoslo entonces, vamos a ver. La primera palabra que usar es quién, ¿ok? Can, when, swim, well? Yes. She can, she swim very well. Claps, claps too, claps. Excellent. Number three, please. Uh, Graciela to Iris. Graciela A, mm. Iris B. Can your brother cook? My brother? No, he can't cook all, no, at all. At all. At all. At all. At, at all. Means para nada. No puede cocinar para nada, right? Look at the example of the teacher in Sarita. We can cook, right, Sarita? I can cook maruchan very good, delicious. Yes, I'm an, an expert cooking maruchan. Okay, now let's go to the class of the, the plata, platform, sorry. And We're going to go to the video, right? To the video. Pronunciation can and can't. Pay attention, please. Listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not the first one. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. 
Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can, as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Okay, now, notice the affirmative, right? I, I can. In the negative, I can't. But the problem is sometimes that uh, they don't pronounce the T. Okay, casi no se les oye cuando los británicos y los, los gringos no se oye cuando ellos eh, mencionan la T. Can't. Ellos no dicen, I can't sing very well. Por lo tanto, tenemos que aprender a distinguirlos por la entonación. In this case, listen. I can act. I can sing. Right? So, in the, in the affirmative, we give stress in the verb. En la forma afirmativa, siempre vamos a darle el estrés o la fuerza en el verbo. Y en la negativa, en el, el modal, right? Ok. Y así es la contracción. Aquí como que se le fue dos Ns, ¿verdad? Pero, pero ya sabemos cómo se escribe. Good. Now, let's go to the video. Let's go to the video of... Abilities in conversation, right? Pay attention. Oops. Yes, it's a damn. Questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look! There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples. Okay, give me a second. Here, right? Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Oh, look. There is a talent show. Sorry, there is a talent contest on Saturday. There is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all. At all. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. 
Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Okay, now I don't, listen I and repeat. I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Repeat, please. I can't sing. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, now let's listen to the explanation how to use can for ability. Now Watch let's the analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Uh, the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that we have the verb sing. Uh, finally we have a complement. Let's Analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. 
Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a compliment. In these examples, there is no compliment, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing? We can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends. Okay, very good. So that was the, the video, right? So try to finish the knowledge check, right? I don't know if you have any extra question for today. Alguna pregunta extra? Okay, recuérdense que esta es la última semana de clases. Tenemos hasta el viernes para completar la plataforma. El día jueves lo vamos a dedicar exclusivamente para el examen y para algunos puntos que todavía no nos no entendemos muy bien, ¿verdad? Así que, por favorcito, traten de hacer su esfuerzo para terminar toda la plataforma y los que ya lo hicieron, pues, felicidades, ¿ok? Eh, les deseo buenas noches. Eh, por aquí, ¿alguien quiere despedirse de ustedes? Goodbye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Thank you. Se, Bye. Me, Bye. Se, se me quedan los de Holcim, por favor, para la foto. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ok. ¿Estamos listos? A la cuenta. A la cu Suleima, hoy no le di participación a Suleima, perdón. Ma mañana, ¿verdad, Suleima? No, hoy me olvidó. Oh, sorry, sorry. Bueno, ahí vamos. One, two, three. Ok. Ahí estamos. Have a good night. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Thank you, teacher. God bless. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.